At the International Defense Exhibition and Seminar, Ideas, 2024, the Pakistan Air Force revealed a significant milestone in its quest for technological independence with the announcement of an Operational Capability Upgrade, OCU, for the JF-17 Thunder. This project, designated as PFX Alpha by the National Aerospace Science and Technology Park, represents the first sequential step in the broader PFX fighter program, aimed at achieving total autonomy over the platform's development and operational capabilities. The primary focus of the JF-17 OCU project is to enhance the fighter jet's radar, avionics suite, and weapon integration capabilities. While this entails incorporating advanced subsystems such as active electronically scanned array radar and new electronic warfare technologies, the upgrade also includes the integration of cutting-edge indigenous munitions. Homegrown weaponry like the Rasub 250 Precision Guided Bomb and AZB-81LR are among the many systems slated for compatibility with the upgraded Thunder. However, the OCU goes beyond mere hardware upgrades. It marks a strategic shift towards enabling the PAF to independently manage and evolve the JF-17 platform. This independence will allow the PAF to exercise greater control over the fighter jet's operational profile and technological evolution, aligning with Pakistan's vision of self-reliance in defense. Since its induction into the PAF, the JF-17 Thunder has been touted as a platform designed to eliminate dependency on foreign suppliers. However, the reality has often fallen short of this vision, particularly in areas such as subsystem development and munitions integration. For instance, during the development of the JF-17 Block 3 variant, the PAF encountered significant challenges in sourcing an AESA radar. While options like Leonardo's Grifo E offered state-of-the-art gallium nitride technology, the lack of source code sharing agreements rendered such options impractical. This reliance on external partners, particularly the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, highlighted the limitations of Pakistan's indigenous capabilities at the time. Recognizing this gap, the PAF took decisive steps to enhance its technological capabilities. In 2020, it established a dedicated integration facility to enable subsystem and weapon system development for the JF-17. This initiative bore fruit as the PAF successfully integrated indigenous munitions, including the RAD series air-launched cruise missiles, AZB series precision-guided bombs, and advanced targeting pods like the Asilson Asil pod. The JF-17 OCU project builds upon these achievements, focusing on key areas such as radar, EW systems, avionics, and electro-optical technologies. By taking control of the electronic stack, the PAF aims to transform the Thunder into a no-compromise, technologically superior fighter jet. The broader PFX program, under which the OCU initiative falls, underscores the PAF's commitment to achieving total technological control over its platforms. This approach seeks to localize the design, integration, and deployment of all critical subsystems. Such autonomy not only reduces reliance on foreign partners, but also positions Pakistan to develop cutting-edge aerospace solutions tailored to its strategic needs. The JF-17 Thunder OCU project is more than an upgrade. It is a bold step towards achieving Pakistan's long-term goal of self-reliance in aerospace technology. By embracing localization and leveraging its growing expertise in subsystem integration, the PAF is laying the groundwork for a future where it can fully control the development and deployment of its combat aircraft fleet. The PFX Alpha initiative marks the beginning of this transformative journey, signaling a new era for Pakistan's defense capabilities.